Hey guys, I'm Jonas. Today we're going to be doing a carb clean on this GX160 using our ultrasonic cleaner. So I did go ahead and diagnose this engine already and verify that it will run by just squirting gas in the intake. That's one thing you always want to do before you just start tearing something apart, guessing that you know what the problem is. You want to make sure that it doesn't have you know, an ignition problem or a valve problem or something else going on before you just rip the carburetor off and spend all the time trying to clean it. Removing the carburetor on these GX series engines is fairly straightforward. Just using a 10 millimeter wrench, we're going to remove the base from the air filter housing. Then we can slide the carburetor out far enough to disconnect our fuel line as well as our throttle linkages. We want to make sure to drain the old gas out of the tank. On these GX series engines, you want to make sure to check the gaskets on both sides of the carburetor and replace if needed. To get our carburetor ready to go in the ultrasonic cleaner, we first need to completely disassemble it. Then we can remove the pin that holds the float and float needle. Now we can remove our sediment bowl. Next we're going to be removing our main jet. And you also want to make sure to get out the emulsion tube. Next, we're going to want to open up our idle air circuit. So we need to remove the throttle stop. And then pry up on the idle jet. If you're having trouble getting that low speed jet out, just leave it in there until after it's ran through the ultrasonic cleaner for a little while. Usually that'll help break it down enough that you can then get it out. We can also remove our choke lever off the top. You can remove these two Phillips head screws to remove the top of your fuel shutoff valve if there's an issue with that. Typically, I don't remove that unless there's actually a problem that needs to be addressed with it. Now that we've got our carburetor disassembled, just set the parts in the basket and set it in your ultrasonic cleaner. This particular ultrasonic cleaner has a timer that will go up to 20 minutes. I usually run it for a full 20 minute cycle and then flip the carburetor over and restart it for another 20 minutes. So using an ultrasonic cleaner is hands down the best way to clean these small carburetors. There's just no other method out there that really gets all those passages inside of the carburetor as cleaned out as using what one of these does. But you've got to know the right solution to put in your cleaner to really get those parts clean. What I found works best for me is this Motorex air filter cleaner. So it's actually made for cleaning air filters, but I figured out that putting it in the ultrasonic cleaner, it really does a nice job getting these parts clean. A couple of tips about using this ultrasonic cleaner though is to make sure when you fill this up with water to get it all the way up to the full line. If it's low on water, you're going to end up damaging your ultrasonic cleaner. You also want to make sure to pull the parts out as soon as it's done cleaning them. Do not leave the parts sitting in your ultrasonic cleaner for any length of time, like overnight or for a couple of days or your parts will start to get a corrosion built up on them. Once your carburetor is done running through your ultrasonic cleaner, you need to rinse everything down with water. Then using your air hose, blow through all the passages in the carburetor. Then reassemble the carburetor. Now 
Your idle screw needs to be adjusted to where it just starts to open the butterfly. If you're going to be reusing your old gaskets, I like to use this anaerobic gasket maker from Permatex. You're just going to apply a thin layer to the gasket before you reinstall the carburetor. I'll leave a link for this in the description below. This also works well as a Loctite on bolts to keep them from rattling out. Make sure when you're reinstalling your air filter base that the breather tube coming off the valve cover gets slid onto the fitting on the air filter base. Now we can dump some fresh gas in the machine and check for leaks. up for today guys if you got some good value out of this video please hit that thumbs up button consider subscribing check out the links in the description down below for all the parts and tools that i use today that really helps my channel out a lot thank you guys for watching have a great day